Hey guys, it's Christopher and welcome to another Solaris tutorial. In this video I'm going to explain how to make the hero jump from cliffs. So we are going to see this type of an entity here, jumper. And our first example will be in uh, an outside map. So let's try to make a few cliffs here. Um, cliffs are not really the easiest thing to do in A Link to the Past. Dungeons are actually much easier. But uh, let's try. So I'm going to make a cliff like this. With some diagonal parts. And then like this and with some dirt uh, above oops Now let's do it like this. Okay. Let's remove the the grid to see this better. So this is not really a tutorial about adding to the past uh, specific graphics, but um, it can help you to see how I do these cliffs. And uh, yeah, so now I want I would I want to do like this. But um, these ones are supposed to be on grass here, on green tiles. So for, d for a dirt background, you need this one. And uh, actually what I wanted to do really was more like this. Oops. Multiple selection. Ah. Okay. And this. And this is above. And finally, here. And then the same here. Except that we, again, we don't want a grass background but dirt okay and let's make some I mean a ladder here like that okay time to try uh, initial game map is named jumpers outside no jumpers cliffs okay so for now you cannot jump because we didn't put any jumper we only put some tiles and if you want to jump just make a jumper like this. Um, so this has a direction and it's the direction of the jump. So by default down. 
So actually, you, you should put it on the obstacle tiles where the jump occurs. Um, so you can disable the displaying of traversable tiles to uh, know what is an obstacle or not. So this is a wall. Okay, so <coughs> so you put the jumper on it. Jumpers always have a width or a height of eight pixels, depending of uh, their direction. So usually you put jumpers in one of the four main di directions. It's also possible to make diagonal jumpers, but we will see that they are a bit trickier. Okay, so... Oh, problem. <laughs> I ended up inside the wall. Um, that's because I forgot to set the correct distance of the jump. So, if the hero is initially um, here, just put any tile here, any 16 by 16 tile, just to see. This is the start position you want to jump to here, so you can uh, simply see the coordinates. Uh, 216 and here 272 so the difference is actually 56 and I should update all three of them 56 and now it will work like in Zelda A Link to the Past okay so that's nice and as I was saying, you can also make diagonal jumpers, so jump to left down. Then when you, you then it has uh, the diagonal shape and you can resize it diagonally like that. So here, and f jump length f still 56. And this is where we will have a small problem. Problem is that 56 is is too much for here but actually it's necessary if you jump in a situation like this because if you do only 40 it works uh, this it works here but it doesn't work here. I will end in the inside the wall. Okay, because when you jump from here, you have to go uh, further if you don't want the hero to end up in the wall. But then the jump will will seem to be too long uh, from here. So there is no really <laughs> there is no real a uh, good solution for this what you can do is um, a trick like putting uh, some sort of uh, obstacles here to prevent the jump from there okay f I don't know something like that and keep the jump length to f 40 here so this is a way Or you can also um, don't make diagonal jumpers at all actually and put some borders so these are the borders they go like this but of course not, not with the green background again but the equivalent one for, for dirt like this and here the junction is supposed to be made with that and the, the top part here with this actually but I put it uh, I bring it to the back okay so yeah this is the easiest way maybe the cleanest way <laughs> as you want just uh, 
avoiding any jump from this cliff, from the diagonal part of the cliff. And then, uh, I don't know, you can allow to jump again, if you want. So you get the idea. Oops, this one to the back, and another uh, horizontal jumper here. It looks it's it always looks nice anyway to um, put some variety in in your in your tiles. So some part of the cliff that are jump that uh, where the hero can jump and other parts where you have borders like that even if you don't have any special problems with diagonal jumps okay so this is basically how you make jumpers for outside cliffs and now let's try to make a dungeon a dungeon room a typical dungeon room with the dungeon tile set and why not dungeon music okay uh, I copy paste for example this map without any special NPC start on jumpers dungeon this time and so if you know Zelda Link to the Past you know that um, you can easily, I mean, <laughs> not easily, I hope it will be easy with Solaris Quest Editor. Uh, there are uh, some rooms will, with multiple levels, with platforms and everything. So, let's try to do that. Uh, I keep going wrong with the new smart resizing of so that was 1.5, yes. <laughs> Which actually is much better than before, but I s I'm still used to the old way, so it will take some time. Uh, yeah. So this room will have two separate parts. Uh, like this. And like this, yes. So this room will have an upper part here, all of this, and a lower part on, on the north part. And actually layers will be involved here. So by default in this tile set and in all dungeon tile sets, um, these tiles here for, for the top part are, are by default on layer 1, so these ones, and the ones for the lower part here are on layer, uh, layer 0. Um, you should put in your house tile store um, some room models to go faster. And for each um, type of um, floor here, you you have a darker one for the lower the, the lower floor and the lighter one for the upper floor. Okay, and same for the borders here. So okay, this is a, a nice room, and so the idea is just to put a jumper here, but um, don't forget that you have some layers here, so if you put nothing, this will be a problem, because the hero will just fall on the lower layer, and then once he is on the lower layer, he is stuck in the wall, 
okay because the hero is initially here and this is empty empty ground here there is no tile so if the hero entirely walks in this area he ends up in the next layer and this is a wall so you really really need to put a jumper here like this and direction up and take care of putting the layer uh, the jumper on the higher layer because the hero will um, will touch the jumper when he is still on the lower lay on the higher layer and the jump length here the distance of the jump is 40 which is exactly adapted for these dungeons so this is not by chance actually okay um so that's about it about uh jumpers next time we will see how to make mm, more even more interesting rooms um with multiple layers and we will also see how to make um stairs inside a single room like that okay so that's all for now I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time. Bye!